Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're continuing on with our RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial series uh, for our students here. And um, in our previous lesson, we made this very lovely looking world map. And today we're going to go over uh, making our first additional map, but we're going to be using a new tile set. So let's get started. So I want to make this village right here. Oops, deleted that by mistake. But this little village right over here, I want to make it so when my player walks into there, we have, we have a new scenario, a new map, a new city to explore. So I'm going to go over down here to the map panel in the bottom left, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to create new map. Okay, and this big window is going to pop up here with lots of different options that may be a little overwhelming at first, but we're going to start today by keeping it very simple. We'll have videos in the future that'll go over all of these features, but we're going to basically just use these first four lines here. So we can ignore this whole right side of the screen, this whole bottom, and this even this right-hand side of the general settings. Uh, we're going to start by selecting a name for our map. Now you might notice there are name, and there is display name. And you might think, why is there two? Well, name is what is going to appear down here in the map panel, and display name is optional. Display name is when your player or your character enters the map. Do you want something to appear on the screen briefly and then fade out? Um, so let's uh, start by giving a name. We're going to call it Town01. Nice and boring. But for the display name, it's well, let's call it Goodmanville. So when our players enter the town, they're greeted uh, to the name of Goodmanville. Excellent. Now, third line here, tile set. Now this is really important. So uh, let's open up this drop down here. And we'll look, we'll see we have multiple different tile sets. We have field, exterior, interior, and dungeon. So remember, over here on the left-hand side of the screen, these are your tiles. This is a tile set. Field is when you're making world maps, when you're wanting, uh, when you're wanting the map to kind of showcase the macro side of your game, where you're seeing lots of different objects, cities, towns, villages, entire continents. So you use field for that. You'll usually not make many field maps in your game, maybe one or two depending on the type of game you're making. So uh, we need to change that from field. Number two here is exterior. So exterior are your, your villages. Uh, maybe they're the courtyard of a castle. Uh, maybe you're walking through the trees here and you got a little like woodland path or a meadow. Um, so exteriors are the outside areas you'll be walking around in. Interior, well, you can probably guess it based on the name. Interior are the inside of your buildings, your houses, your inns, your shops, your castle rooms. Um, you know, lots of different areas. These towers over here, you'd probably set those to interior. And dungeon is, uh, well, it's a, it's a dungeon. That's pretty self-explanatory, so we don't need to go into more detail there. But since we're making the outside of this town, we're going to go to exterior. And the width and the height, uh, you know, you feel free to change those up. I'm actually going to make my, uh, my width maybe at 28. And I'll make the height 20. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And let's click OK. And we are transported to our new map here with this, uh, with this transparent checkerboard pattern. But we can go down here to the map panel and, um, and go back to our old map. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my map here. And I'm going to see that my town is kind of bordered by trees. And I'm sitting on grass. So I want to make sure that this map is doing the similar. So I'm going to start by selecting the fill bucket, and I'm just going to fill this in with grass. Excellent. Uh, my town has a fence around it, so let's add a fence around this town. Uh, let's go up to that so we can make a nice, easy, straight fence around the town. Let's make a point where we can go in and out. That's looking pretty good. And then uh, now we can you, can, you can go in and you can add some paths to your house. Uh, not your house, to your town, rather. And, uh, you know, you might want to draw the paths before or after, depending on how you want to draw the, the, the buildings, but there's kind of a start. So you might be wondering, where are the houses, right? You know, on this map here, you can go over to tab B, and there's houses here. But on this new tile set, we have an A, B, and a C, but in none of these do you actually see houses. Now we have a bunch of roofs and columns and statues and pillars and trees and tents and ladders and signs, but there's no houses. And that's because you need to build them brick by brick. So let's kind of go over a lesson on that. So on these sections here, you're going to see a bunch of paired objects. And that's a roof, that's a wall, that's a roof, that's a wall, that's a roof, wall, roof, wall, roof, wall. You get the idea here, but you can mix and match. So I'm going to start by making a house and I'm going to make it 
two units tall. And you can see it's going to automatically add the shadow there, which is great. And then I'm going to pick a roof. You know what? I'm going to go for a, let's go for a blue roof here. That looks pretty good. I like the look of that. That doesn't look like a house yet. It looks like a big box. So let's go over to tab B and let's start adding some decorations. So let's put a, uh, let's put a chimney up there and maybe add some windows. Looks good. So you notice if I select two tiles at once by holding down left click, uh, it's a little bit quicker than just grabbing the top and clicking and then grabbing the bottom and clicking. You got to make sure you're in pencil mode if you want to do that. Uh, but I'm actually going to uh, put some flowers underneath that there. Uh, maybe we'll put a little uh, sandwich board sign in front of the place, a little path leading up. Uh, what else could we add over here? Hmm, what else? What else? It's looking to be a pretty nice house. You'll put some flowers out front. Obviously, it's well maintained. Um, maybe it's got some uh, some crates of food next to the house. You know, and maybe uh, maybe this is the inn. So let's put the inn sign there. That's looking pretty good now. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of ivy growing up the side. I'm liking the way that's shaping up. Um, now you're going to notice there's not actually any doors. And we're going to have a separate lesson for how to make doors. So in the meantime, we're just going to go to tab B. And you're going to add just a hole where the door will be. So there we go. We started, uh, we started making our house there. It's looking pretty good. And now you can just continue going around and decorating the rest of the town. So maybe there's a uh, cemetery in the center of the town here. You know, uh, maybe they put a uh, maybe they put a fence around their cemetery. And maybe at the uh, the entrance to the cemetery, there's some uh, statues. You know, kind of commemorating or memorializing. That looks pretty good, but uh, you know, maybe we put a little uh, well up here at the top of the town, a bucket near the well. Oh, it's looking pretty good there. Let's see what else do we got. Um, lots of different decorations and stuff you can put around your town. Maybe there's a big central tree over here in the town. Um, but uh, if you got this, like, uh oh, that's a problem there. We got some kind of like pit or a hole. Maybe some climbed out or you can climb in. Uh, starting to look a little suspicious here in this town. Something is not as it seems. Um, so you can continue just adding decorations to your town. Uh, maybe it's got some stacks of hay over here, uh, a, little, a few leaves on the ground. If you go back over to tab A, we got some grass over here. You can add some little, like, maybe they, they, they're not uh, cutting the grass as well as they should. Start decorating your town and just keep adding different areas, okay? And it kind of creates, like, this unique look. You know, spend the time, as we talked about before. Uh, don't rush your town design. Uh, you know, you can go add some uh, trees here to the side of the town. Uh, you know, along the top here, that looks pretty good. You know, it's a fully wooded area around the town. That's looking a little bit better there. Uh, maybe a rock here and there. Maybe they're growing a little bit of crops over here. I'm gonna go back to the pencil tool, grow in some crops. A little scarecrow in the middle there. And uh, as you can see, the town is starting to come alive now. You probably want to add a few more buildings. There's not many buildings for a town, of course. Uh, so maybe we'll add one more building where that tree is. Uh, so let's pick a different style. Maybe this, there's a little wooden building here. And then let's give it a nice, let's give it a metal roof. That looks good. Go over to tab B. Maybe this is like the government building or something like that. So we'll kind of go like that. And... Uh, you know what, maybe, they're, maybe their windows are closed. Why, why are the windows closed? That looks a little suspicious. Double chimney. Something seems up at this place. I'm not liking where this is going. And you know what? When you got bars on windows, that's always, uh, always slightly suspicious, right? So I'm a little bit wary of what's kind of going on in there. Uh, the players are going to have to kind of figure that out. But uh, I'm not, uh, not liking what's happening over there. A little crack on the side there. Hole appearing there. Okay, there we go. That's oh, looking pretty good. So uh, that's kind of a simple way to just start designing a simple town by creating a new map and changing the tile set. So I hope that helped, and we will see you guys later.